Okay. The uh, one of the more popular freestyle skills is swim downhill. That has been taught for many, many years. The basis of this is that when you stick an object underwater, it will. Tars kept the endurance. I really needed it, but the trip took years longer than we anticipated. We no longer have the fuel to visit both prospects, so we have to choose. We have no reason to suspect Edmund's data would have soured. His world has key elements to sustain human life. As does Dr. Mann's. Cooper, this is my field. And I really believe Edmund's is the better prospect. Why? Right. Sure, That's why. And if you no stick an object underwater yes. but no life. down here. It will have a buoyancy force that will lift it up. So this is a body equal to the amount of water that would fill that space. So, he's on the ground, and he's wait. a very unambiguous message telling us to come to his planet. Granted, but Edmund's data is... And that planet. is this guy. So, if we were to She's in love with both is that true? take a... Balloon. And that makes me want to if you were to take heart. a balloon full of air, but maybe we've spent too long trying to figure all this out with theory. Full of air so versus a bowling ball. And stick them underwater. Both are about the same size. About. Oops. About. Same. Size. But. One. Weighs more. Maybe this weighs 10 pounds. Maybe this weighs. 0 0.5 pounds which one is going to have more buoyancy if they both displace the same amount of water then this guy is obviously going to have more buoyancy Honestly, it might. Now, if we were to think of a person, their legs and their arms, and we start thinking about how we can make them more like a balloon and less like a bowling ball we can think over to their chest lungs so we can either a fill with air or b breathe Air out. Which one has more buoyancy? 
has more buoyancy. Well, we could think of it this way. Ways less, ways more. If chest is same size either way, about. So that means we obviously want to pick that we want to fill air in our lungs. So, having said that, if we take our swimmer and he's happy with his cap, goggles, got his neck, got his triangle body, he's kicking his feet, swimming freestyle, and we have the water. Where do we want the water line? We could either have it as A, or we could have it as B, which we're going to make a dark blue, which is going to be like this. So, this guy is going to be our lungs our balloon <laughs> we can either have it above or underwater essentially here and which one are we going to want it can be a above water or B below surface which one is going to give us our buoyancy how much water does this apply how much water is displaced that's where buoyancy comes from right water below the surface. I'm going to say this is good and this is bad. So, if we were having our swimmer now, and he's going to be the perfect swimmer. And his lungs are going to be full as much as possible and then after that all he's got to do is keep that hidden that hidden and everything else just at the surface because parts above water Water less body. See below more. <laughs> and we get extra. Free buoyancy with more air held in while swimming. And that explains it. To summarize, I guess there's one other detail we can go into is why do we want more buoyancy? 
Why more buoyancy? Why more buoyancy? Well, I have an answer for that. This is the simple one where if we are, let's change that to blue to keep with water here. I want to make it a little more fun blue. Get rid of that. If we are on the water and our swimmer now, if he is very buoyant and flat with a perfect body position, that's a little small. Would we rather him be underwater, very deep, with his body looking this big? Let's say that's size, let's say this is a large body, or we could simply have become smaller here as a small body let's make this guy red and he's gonna be up here a little bit above the surface but he's gonna keep his triangle just below the surface so he's gonna change his angle and we'll draw their their lungs here to help out okay make them green again there's our air. Both are really good at this air thing. They're smart swimmers. Uh, took their science classes and all that. But red has a little more intelligence here. A little more knowledge behind him. Let's make sure that's red. Red is hiding everything except this guy in front his head where he's gonna get a little bow wave so the water's actually gonna pull up and flow around him just because he's going so fast and but according to the surface red is actually only from here to here this size is smaller body as the water is coming in and pounding us because the water is just flying at us as we're moving really fast so I can fit three of these arrows three times arrow water arrows so imagine the water is just shooting arrows at us and we only got to take two water arrows water arrows down here and we have to take three water arrows up here not very fun this guy is going to be hurting a lot less so I'm going to say I'd rather be red guy and hold my body in just the right way to swim downhill Hill. And the name here comes from the feeling you get as resistance changes. Imagine you have a hill and red guy over here. Whoops. Red guy is uh, trying to run down. He's really happy. Got his feet all running like this. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, got a good artistry here going on. And the yellow guy is churning away. He's a little less sad, happy. But I got a little drop of sweat coming off there. This guy is just. Uh, He's flying. He's just going whoo, way over the edge. Which one is harder? I think this is going to be hard. Oops, I'm going to change it to blue here. So this is more 
work to move less work feels oops feels easier that's why we like to swim downhill for technically efficient freestyle swimming technique and this all goes back to our physics of air versus bowling ball hopefully that will help remove the confusion of all the terminology thrown around in the coaching world and put a little science behind your training and technical decisions for how you will swim. Let's all become Red Dude in the near future. And that is Swim Downhill.